This third generation Lenovo 14e Chromebook has an identical twin, and in this video I'll explain the subtle differences between them, give my thoughts, and hopefully hear yours in the comments. So if you're looking to learn more about the Gen 3 Lenovo 14e, I'd say watch this short video first, and then my in-depth video on the almost identical Gen 8 IdeaPad Slim 3i model to get a detailed look at the Chromebook. I'll link it for you in the description and on the end screen of this video. Doing my research for my video on the IdeaPad Slim 3i, I noticed just how similar it was to Lenovo's 14e Chromebook Gen 3. In my review of the Slim 3i, I even opened up the Chromebook at one point to adjust the trackpad, and there are parts inside labelled as the 14e. And the only physical difference I could spot was the solid colour on top of the 14e versus the two-tone finish on the Slim 3i. I remembered back to a video I made in 2022 on the 14 inch IdeaPad 3 at the time, and that was basically the same model as the second gen 14e Chromebook. I only realised after making the video then, hence a change to the title and description to try and help more people understand. So let's take a look at the high level specs that state the up to, aka best specification of either of these ranges. We've got the 14e Gen 3 on the left here and the Slim 3i Gen 8 on the right. And you can see the only difference is with the Slim 3i you can go up to 256 gig of storage, whereas with the 14e you top out at 128 gig. Both of these model lines have configurations that meet the Chromebook Plus spec, like the actual Slim 3i that I have. The 14e Gen 3 is listed as eligible for the Chromebook Plus software update, of course where the particular model specs meet it, so you may not get the branding on the lid but you can still benefit from the Chromebook Plus update. I've gone through all the other key specs of both model ranges and will call out some of the differences to watch out for. If you want to break them down in more detail yourself I'll link to a video in the description of this one showing you how you can do that for any Lenovo. Keep in mind that globally there are almost 250 model variations of the 14e whilst there are under 50 of the Slim 3i. And they've all got the same range of processors, RAM, display and webcam specs as I cover in detail on the video on the Slim 3i. For storage, as mentioned, the 14e tops out at 128GB, but it also starts as low as 32 compared to the Slim 3i offering 64, 128 or 256GB options of eMMC 5.1 storage. Another point of interest was that the majority of the 14e come with a 65 watt charger compared to the Slim 3i, but there are 45 watt options for both. I guess it makes sense that fast charging is a pressing point when selling to schools. Of course, a number of the 14e models also come with a Chrome Education upgrade, and there are also more warranty options. So, why did Lenovo do this? I think the short answer is to save costs and easily differentiate target audiences when needing a Chromebook for the education sector. I'd really like to hear your thoughts in the comments, and if you're aware of any other Chromebook manufacturers doing this. To check out the Slim 3i Gen 8 Chromebook, knowing what you know now about the 14e Gen 3, click on the card on the left on the screen now, and if you're looking for some other Chromebook content, how about the video on the right? 